Hello, Watermark kids, and happy Easter. In the month of April, we are discussing the godly characteristic of goodness. We are going to continue to talk about the goodness of God through the story of Easter. As a reminder, our biblical definition of goodness is a heart that reflects the excellent character of God. As you learned last week, God's excellent character deserves to be praised. So let's praise him today. Our finish line today is the good news of our good God, Jesus is alive. But why is this news so important? Well, you and I deserve to be eternally separated from God because of our sin. But because God is so good, he made a way for our sins to be forgiven. But I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself. Sit back, relax, and let's discuss why Easter is so important. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Matthew chapter 28, which is where we are going to be reading from today and is in the Gospels era of our Bible timeline. Leading up to this chapter, Jesus was doing amazing things. He was walking on water. He was calming storms. He was even raising people from the dead. Jesus was also telling people that he was the Messiah, the Son of God but not everyone was happy with this. Jewish leaders and teachers became so angry at Jesus that they made a plan to have him arrested so that they could get rid of him forever. And that's exactly what they did. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, betrayed Jesus for some money. Jesus was then put on trial and found guilty by Jewish and Roman leaders. Pontius Pilate, the Roman leader at the time, sentenced Jesus to be crucified or hung on a cross. Jesus was spit on, he was beaten, and then forced to carry a cross up a hill. Jesus knew that he had to die to forgive the sins of the world, but it was still a very hard thing to do. After hours of hanging on the cross, Jesus finally died. He was buried in a tomb, and for three days, there was no hope. And now you may be saying, where is the good news in this story? But that is where today's scripture comes in. Turn your Bibles to Matthew 28 and let's read verses 1 through 10. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. And now go quickly to tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened but also filled with great joy, and they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. As they went, Jesus met them and greeted them, and they ran to him, grasping his feet, and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee, and they will see me there. Did you hear that? Jesus is alive. He rose from the dead. In verse six, the angel said, Jesus isn't here. He is risen, just as he said would happen. Everything happened just as Jesus said it was going to happen. Even when it doesn't seem like it, God is in control and always keeps his promises. So why did Jesus have to die in the first place? Jesus had to die so that God could make a way for our sins to be forgiven. Everyone has sinned and is separated from God. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that does not please or honor God. Remember, God is holy, so he cannot be with sin. Even when we try our hardest, like reading the Bible or going to church or praying a ton, we will always fall short of God's perfection and can never do enough to get to God. So how can we get to God? Well, it is impossible on our own. God is perfectly just, and it's right for him to demand payment for sin. So in order for our sins to be forgiven, someone had to pay the perfect price we couldn't pay for them. And that is what Jesus did. Jesus, who is perfect and never sinned, didn't deserve to die. You and I did. But Jesus' death on the cross was God's way of paying for the sins of the world. Our loving and faithful Heavenly Father made a way for us to be with Him through His Son, Jesus. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave, defeating death, and now whoever believes in Jesus has their sins paid for and forgiven. So there is nothing you can do to get to God. 
but because God is good, he made a way for us to be with him. That brings us back to our finish line today. The good news of our good God, Jesus is alive. Easter is so important because it is a reminder of when Jesus paid for the sins, past, present, and future of those who believe in him. Easter isn't about bunnies or candy or even Easter egg hunts. Easter is the reminder of the good news of our good God. Jesus is alive. So take a few minutes right now with your family to praise God for the goodness of sending his son Jesus to this earth to live a perfect life, die a death that he did not deserve, and create a way for you and me to inherit eternal life. Happy Easter and have a great rest of your day.